Hi everyone, Sailor Pluto, Tessa here, and today we're going to talk about why I, we not, don't skim out our films. Now, we know we made a film talking about this before, but they're with us, keep with us, because we're going to talk about why we don't. Now, first off, a lot of folks out there will say, Oh, well, you should skim your films. You know, a lot of folks would watch your uploads and lives more if you skimmed or cleaned or cut or whatever you want to say. Well, there isn't any truth to back it up, saying that there's these onlookers or seers or watchers out there of one's work, but they don't watch the work unless you skimmed it or cut it or cleaned it in some way. Um, if there are those folks, well, then they're going to be watching this work then, I guess. So, a lot of you folks out there, a lot of folks like to skim and cut or clean their films. We do not. And the first grounds is because it takes too long. You know, you think, yeah, it takes too long. It does. Two... There's all these tools and all these settings, and none of them are really that outstanding. It's like, oh, you can put a beginning sheet to your film or an end sheet to your film, or make your film brighter, darker. It's like, wow. But when you want to cut something out of your film, and that's probably when folks mean they when mean skimming, or cutting, that's when you're asking too much. The small soft Windows filmmaker back in the day was a hit and miss. The ArcSoft ones, and we had two of them, ArcSoft Web Shooter Friend and ArcSoft Film for Layer. Well, they could do the same thing the small soft one would do. They just they couldn't cut your films out. Yeah, that was broken. Didn't work. But they could forlay your film faster than a small soft one would. And then there was also Cyberlink Power Director or Interweb Feed Strength Overseer, which a lot of folks, which the one we had was broken, all could do was film. So yeah, we don't skim or cut or clean our films because that would take too much time and it's too hard to do. We just want to make a film, upload it, forlay it, get it playable. If you gotta fuck around, forgive my speech, with some film skimming tool, then there's a lot of time it's gone. Bye. And I know there's a lot of folks out there that like to think, oh well, you have to skim your films. No, you don't. You choose to skim your films. No one makes you do it. You know? All right? So why the hell would we, and why the hell do you think we don't skim our films out? Because we don't like to. We like our films the way they are. And we don't have to skim our films out. You know it's a choose, you know. And you're going to, you're going to fuck your, your films up. You know that. I know a lot of folks out there don't believe, but you are. Either it's going to take too much time to fillet, which was always a small soft Windows filmmaker's big thing was being too long to fillet the film. Cutting the film was a hit and miss. And the only thing it truly seemed to really be good at was making beginning and end sheets to your film and then sometimes I couldn't do that right. And the ArcSoft one, well they didn't really do much for us anyway. Oh, they could do the same thing a small soft one could. They just couldn't cut nothing out. But they were faster for laying your film. <clears throat> and then the, you could say the interweb feed strength overseer. Well, it wasn't that strong. It was broken. All it could do was film. So I don't want to hear about how, I don't want to hear how any of these tools are your friends. Or everyone should skim their work out. Because it's too hard to work. And it did a lot more to fuck my films up than it did to help it. 
and you know there's going to be haters and trolls out there telling you oh if you do this they'll like your work well I used to I, I did some of that and they still didn't like the work so all right and I know folks are going to say well what about the Sony, what about the Sony film skimming toll what about small shooter or what about last cut or the Apple Macintosh I film well they're all shitty they all have the same binds they're not really anything outstanding about them and even if you gotta buy them or they're free or not I don't care they're all about the same taking up too much time too long for later films make the films bright and dark making beginning and end sheets of your films then you cutting your film is either it doesn't do it at all or it fucks your film up so no we don't skim or cut or clean our films in any way yeah and the YouTube one or you side one yeah it's a slide of shit too the only thing it's good at is making end sheets and that's the only thing we do you know so yeah that's why we don't do anything and before I end this film, there's going to be someone out there saying, Oh, VLC player. First off, it's a player, not a skimming toll. And it's got, yeah. And all it's good as playing discs, all right? So you can knock it up by bringing that one up. So if anyone out there wonders why we don't skim our films out, well, now you know the ground's sake and why of it. And if you don't like films that haven't been skimmed or cut or cleaned in some way, well, I want to tell you, go watch someone else's work that does all of that. Because we don't. But for everyone who likes watching, likes our films, and don't mind them not being not skimmed, cut, or clean, I say thank you. Anyway, that's all the time we got. If you like this film, then follow us over here at, you know, Sailor Moon for Life. What's well, the other film we made yesterday over here? <clears throat> we have Sailor Earth talking about why we are frightened, I guess, of Double Right. I hope that that is the film. If I'm wrong, it is what it is. But Sailor Earth is in the film. I, Sailor Pluto, Tissa, or Tessa, and I'll see you later. Bye.